You're the new boy? Yes, sir. Oh, I was promised a thug. You look more respectable than I was hoping. Uh, well then, maybe you should get some glasses, old man. Haha, <laughs> that's more like it. Okay, I need you to pick someone up. Oh, are they feeling sad? In a car. Obviously. The person is Forrest Blackwell. The multi-billionaire? That is correct. It won't be easy, though. Mr. Blackwell is constantly hounded by the paparazzi. They will try to follow you, and Mr. Blackwell will not like this. Got it. Not a problem, because I am awesome at driving. Good boy. Go pick him up at Blackwell Tower, and be polite. He's our only customer. Come back and give you my insurance details later. Mr. Blackwell, are you still thinking about the scandal? Why won't you let anyone in your tower anymore? Is it true you prefer cats to dogs? Gentlemen, please, give Mr. Blackwell some privacy. He merely wishes to go somewhere mysterious for secretive reasons he doesn't want you to know about. One more question, sir. What? Where are you going? Hey, where are you Mr. Going? Blackwell, sir, what don't happened? leave me. It's my job. Where can I take you, sir? Very kind of you to ask, young man. I shall be attending one of the last ever performances of the Perpetual Inbox at the Gillespie Theatre. I trust you have been told of my aversion to the paparazzi. Yes, sir. I'll do my best to shake them off. I appreciate that this may require you to adopt a somewhat, shall we say, unorthodox driving style. It could get a little rough. Oh, do not worry on my account. I have ridden atop ships of the desert. Nothing can compare to the discomfort that inflicts upon one's posterior. Are you a patron of the arts yourself, young man? Well, I like that TV show with the monkey who solves crimes. Ah, a true connoisseur. So, uh, may I ask what the play you're seeing is about? Authority, regulations, bureaucracy, the usual concerns of petty individual. Sounds like my old job. Ah, to have your plans thwarted by fools. But what can you do? You either ignore it and get on with your life. Or you go mad. 
<laughs> yes. Mad. Or you could sneak behind their backs and get your own way without them knowing. The third option. Don't tell anyone. But that's the one I favor. Me too. Well, I hope you enjoy the play anyway. Thank you. I suspect it'll be the last chance I get to see one in quite some time. I have rather a long trip coming up. Is that the time? Well, I think I just about survived that journey, driver. There's no need to wait. I shall be getting home by other means. Goodbye! Goodbye, sir. That was admirable driving for Mr. Blackwell. Your complete lack of respect for traffic laws proves that you are an awful person and is to be commended. Thanks. I hate traffic laws. Yes. I sense you may be the sort of individual we are looking for. Have you ever stolen anything? I stole some pens. Ugh. A thousand pens. From a child with a limp. Excellent! Then you are to be offered a promotion. Go to the alleyway to the left of the salvage yard in Pagoda. My employer will be anticipating your arrival there. He will explain the details. Let's go meet Mr. Chen. Perfect. I'm here about a promotion. You? You look like a cop. Well, I'm not. See? Ugh. Greetings, driver. You want to make some money? Stop that! I will fire you, prancing fools! <laughs> uh, uh, what do you got in mind? Getaway driving? Not so fast. Careful driving? No! <laughs> First, you have to prove yourself. Here is a list of instructions. Follow them, and then report to my salvage yard. And don't get caught like those knuckleheads did! Sure thing, Mr. Chan. Please, call me sir. Why are you still here?! Okay, so Chan wants me to recover a car from his rival while they're having a shindig. I guess that makes me a party pooper. Huh, I don't think I've ever pooped a party before.
They'll be fine. Trouble for that. <laughs> Sorry, it's an emergency. It ain't fair that we have to guard this place. Yeah. You know, we could sneak off to that other party by the hotel pool. Maybe. If they started playing some decent music. <laughs> and serve up some food. system blew up. That is the last time I play opera on it. Whoa, you're some kind of electrical whiz. But you're gonna need another record before you can spin the decks. And kablamo! <laughs> oh, uh, that wasn't meant to happen. And now I shall bring her back. Shazam Ablam! A record? Should I have used Shamaza Kazoo? Or maybe Krabakadabra? No, that's for making seafood appear. Oh well, I'm sure she's somewhere safe.
crank it up to 11. Uh-oh. I think the rhythm just got me. Catch you later. There's meant to be a barbecue here. They expect me to serve up burnt food poisoning in a bun without a barbecue. I didn't train for two whole days to be a chef so I could deal with this kind of incompetence. Has anyone seen a barbecue around here? Hey, a barbecue! And it's even clean! I won't have to smother everything in ketchup to disguise the taste this time. Now I just need some stuff to cook on it. Yep, just need someone to get me some food. Is that, uh, chicken? That's perfect. Could you put it on there for me? I haven't washed my hands. Thanks. 30 seconds and these will be ready to eat. Would you like some chicken tartare? I'll pass. Do I smell food cooking? I think I do. Secret car washes? Get him! Ugh! <laughs> 
Hey, Chase, is it true you're a member of a criminal gang now? Yeah, that's right. I'm working for Chan Chuang. <gasps> I can't believe you do that. I admired you, Chase. <laughs> it's not real, Frank. I'm undercover, remember? So I could find out where Rex is and arrest him? <laughs> yeah, I knew that. <laughs> you don't have to sign that good luck in your new job card anymore. Listen, Chan asked me to take a car from one of his rivals. He wasn't exactly a nice guy, but he should probably be compensated by the city. Do you think you can get that cleared by someone in charge? Sure, I can totally do that. I once gave a really important message from the mayor to the mayor. Oh. Okay. I'm sending it over now. See you, Frank.